Good day, everybody. Rob here, WesternMississippiWeather.com. It is currently the 27th of October, 2010, right around 1200 Japan Standard Time. That's right around 03 Zulu for those of you worldwide. And today we are all watching Typhoon Chaba here, or Katrine, moving slowly to the north towards Okinawa right now. Max winds right around 95, gusting up to 110 knots. So, very strong system right now. Actually, strengthened up overnight due to some uh, polar outflow rate in this region here. But overall, though, it actually is strengthening here. So, let's uh, zoom in on the satellite picture showing a very elongated north to south orientation in this system and that's really one of the big strength reasons why this strengthened up overnight is due to this much of a polar outflow to the northern periphery right in here and a lot of good inflow coming in and also you still have that equatorial inflow coming in as well pumping a lot of warm moist air in there but another thing I want to note on the satellite picture is you have all these cloud lines and cloud streaks farther out to the west here now this is indicating this uh, cold surge this big piece of Siberian high is actually pumping a lot of cooler air and very strong gradient induced winds farther down from the north here as you you can see right in this region right in here it's very strong very turbulent throughout there as you can kind of tell by these lines right in here and as shown on uh, the uh, observations you can see a 52 knot and a 51 knot when basically in that same exact area I was just pointing out right in here so very strong gradient induced winds with this system as well and even still some 32 and 35 knots farther out to the west here in the Taiwan Strait here as well so a uh, very strong winds even far away from the core of the system no obs near the center of the system that's actually really good news because all these obs are coming from ships here as well just to note here but still this very strong gradient and on a surface you can now clearly see this gradient induced winds that I'm talking about here this very tight gradient throughout all this region as the Siberian high works its way to the south actually from a cold surge here and this is going to start interacting with the northwestern periphery of the typhoon down in here now the system is a forecast is gradually intensify but especially away from the core in the uh, northwestern periphery here through so definitely by this evening throughout much of the Ryuhu Islands I would expect to start seeing some uh, winds gust above tropical storm force winds as this gradient starts to really tighten up here. Now this uh, shear, basically strong winds from the north here, it could also have an effect on the rainfall amount on the northwestern periphery here. Now the system does look like it's going to get rather close to Okinawa, so this shouldn't have too much effect on that rainfall for the Okinawa and Ryukyu Islands themselves. But even farther north up here to uh, much of the uh, Kyushu and uh, even Jejeju and South Korea, farther off to the north there, it looks like some of these outer rain bands should not extend that far due to much of these uh, the strong northerly winds here as well. Now uh, that we got that down, now where's the system going to go? Well, right now, we're showing on the streamline analysis, is really strong weakness in the subtropical ridge right in here. Now, this system is gradually going to drift north into this weakness and eventually move off to the, subtro the uh, extratropical trough farther up here to the north as it makes this transition to an extratropical state up here over uh, Honshu. So it's uh, really going to bring some rainfall throughout much of the uh, islands up here throughout the uh, weekend here as well. Shown on the uh, GFS model here. You get a clearer picture here. Now showing the initiation of the storm here by this afternoon on the uh, 27th. Now it's actually going to start to work its way towards the north and eventually over Honshu. Showing on this uh, extended outlook here. You can see a landfall here on the 30th over Shikoku and Honshu. So definitely going to be a very rainy weekend this Halloween weekend here throughout many of the islands. But immediately though over the next 24 hours looks like Okinawa is going to be hit. Now showing the GFS or JTWC track. Showing a very close CPA to Okinawa, less than 100 nautical miles uh, from the uh, center of the storm. And some typhoon strength winds, possibly overnight on a Thursday night into a Friday morning as the storm nears the uh, Okinawa Islands here. And definitely this times have actually moved back here uh, slightly uh, due from uh, midday on Thursday to Thursday night to Friday morning. Basically due to the system really taking its time and only moving about 3 to 4 knots from the south here. So it looks like it's going to be a night uh, passing by here, a night CPA to Okinawa so definitely uh, that's going to make the system a little bit more dangerous as well but looks like by this afternoon into evening you might start seeing some tropical storm force gusts due to that gradient I noticed earlier as well here and after the system passes Okinawa likely by um, the uh, afternoon of the uh, 29th into the evening you'll start to see the winds uh, decrease over Okinawa and many of the Ryuka Islands here as well but going to be a very long day tomorrow into uh, Friday, uh, Friday morning as well here and after the system some passes looks like they're going to really take off to the northeast here as it gets picked up by the uh, polar front jet and it really drifts off to the north as well. I also want to show you JMA's forecast here basically taking a similar track as JTWC really close to the Ryuka Islands here so definitely need to closely monitor this and also to note the system is moving relatively slow so really still have a wide cone of air uh, for 
JMA here still extending throughout much of the Ryukyu Islands, but looking like a second landfall up near Shikoku and Kyoshu here, farther out, according to a JMA. And also noting right now central pressure at 955 uh, millibars. So definitely a dropping system overall as far as it deepening and getting stronger here. But that is all for uh, today's update, everybody. I'll likely have another update again this evening, so uh, stay tuned for that. And also, uh, if you have any questions, please feel them to me here at westernpacificweather.com. Also, find me at storm2k.org if I'm not available. Plenty of meteorological sound people there as well. So please stay safe out there, everybody. And um, make sure you listen to your local bases here for uh, T core conditions if you're on a base here in the Ryukyu Islands. And also, make sure you listen to uh, JMA's official forecast come out of this as well. So uh, please stay safe and have a great day. Bye.